How important do you think Vision 2030 is going to be to the development of the Saudi economy? The purpose of this project is to, of course, to transform the economy. To transform the economy from an oil economy to a non-oil economy and to, of course, boost the role of the, the private sector. To be honest, in the past, the private sector was not really uh, so much supported. I think uh, it's a family business and so on. And now we discover that we need to have a more, st more dynamic private sector. So it is an opportunity for us, of course, and we will play on, on that. Uh, you, of course, the, the purpose is to rebalance the, the source of revenues and to be less dependent from the, from the, from, from the oil uh, resources. It is a big project because it's a transformation. Transformation is not on the paper. Transformation is people. The organization of the country, the people, the, 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 the habit, the culture. So it's a, it's a big challenge, but there is no choice. There is no choice. So there is one choice, it's to, it's to transform, it's to change. It is the challenge. I think it's totally, uh, it could work. Perhaps it could be better to have done this kind of change before the, the, the crisis, because today it's a little bit more, the maneuver is more difficult. But there is no choice and Saudi Arabia being a G20 country, a big country, cannot only depend on oil, oil resources because we don't know what will be the future and the oil is not forever. So this challenge, this vision to 2030 is the change of business model of the country. We change the country, it changes our business model. And this painful, and I think it will be more difficult, people should understand that the change is very pain. It's very pain, I will not mention what Churchill used to say, pain, tears and blood, but the change is very difficult. No, no, change is very, very difficult. It's very easy to talk about change and to have a long seminar and a meeting about how to manage a change. The problem is how could you manage a change with your team and your people and to make sure the people change and the people, because it's not only one person, it's not because we say we want to change, it's everybody has to change. And it is, for me, a very, very big challenge, but it, there is no choice, my opinion.